Shaw. Spannon, go ahead. Good morning. The violence against religious and ethnic minorities around the country, especially in Trump rallies, is very disturbing and, to be honest, very scary for someone who looks like me. And it is clear that these people who support Trump are not going to have a change of heart anytime soon, even if he doesn't get the nomination. My question to you is, if president, what is going to be your approach in uniting the country? And in particular, how do you address uh, those people who relish in Trump's uh, divisive rhetoric? Well, thank you very much for that important question. And it really is sad that you have to ask that question. That should not be happening in America. You know, I remember we did a rally in George Mason University a number of months ago. And a young Muslim woman, she was raising her hand. She just wanted to ask this question, so I brought her up. And that's what she said, that in America today, when she was, you know, in America today, she was frightened. This is not what our country should be about. People should not be frightened because they are Muslims, because they are dark-complexioned, because they are Mexicans. And what Trump has done is really, really awful. So what do we do? Uh, for a start, we understand that unlike Trump, what America's strength has been, and it's an extraordinary strength, is bringing our people together. I'm Jewish. You're Muslim. We have, you're Hindu. Hindu. There you go, all right? <laughs> but that's what America is, and we got Muslims here, and we got Latinos here. What an extraordinary opportunity. And we got African Americans all coming from different cultures, helping to create this great country and learning from each other. What a golden, wonderful opportunity. And that is what historically has always made us great. God only knows we have had problems with racism and bigotry in this country. But our vision has got to be to create a nation where we respect each other, where we love each other, where we do what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said. Do you remember what he said? Is we judge people based on their character, not on the color of their skin or their backgrounds. That's the America that I believe in. And I will do everything I can. Let me give you an example. Just a few months ago, uh, I was with Keith Ellison. Keith is congressman from Minnesota. He is one of the few Muslims uh, in the United States Congress. Keith and I went to a mosque in Washington, D.C. and sat down with Muslims there just to make the point that we are not going to let the Muslim community or the Latino community or any other community feel isolated. We are going to stand together against bigotry and xenophobia in this country. Thank you very much.